How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And today, I want to show you guys three of the best VPNs for Windows. Now, whether you're on Windows 7, 8, 10, 11, you should be good to go with any of these VPNs. They are compatible not just on Windows, but on many devices. And I'll get into the features of these VPNs in just a second. But before we begin, if you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs with regards to their privacy policies, speed streaming and torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you'll find in-depth looks in the reviews down below. Uh, you'll find an individual review for each of these VPNs, as well as links to special deals and discounts if you'd like to take advantage of the long-term plans for these uh, VPNs. All right, so I wanna get a little bit into the features and what these VPNs have to offer. Now, what you're looking for in a VPN is simply encryption and security, right? Uh, so if you're on public Wi-Fi, you're using your um, computer or mobile phone or whatever device you're using, you want to keep yourself protected. Otherwise, you'll be opening up yourself to whoever is is on that same network if you're on public Wi-Fi. You know, it could also be people on the administrative side of things uh, of that network that you're on who could possibly have ill will. Uh, and you don't want to be any part of that. So you just keep yourself protected with a VPN. And these three VPNs, obviously, I have picked them because of their 256-bit encryption. Not just that, they do not log your data. They have a strict no-logs policy, and they do have evidence to show for that, of course, in their independent audit reports. Uh, of course, if you're interested in learning more about the privacy policy, you want to see the review down below. Besides that, I want to get into the features of these VPNs and which one could be the best for you, depending on your needs. Okay, so let's say you're looking for the best of the best, something super easy to use. Um, I would call this the uh, best plug and play type of VPN, whether you're in China, you know, you're in a censorship heavy country, you want a VPN that's compatible on everything. All these, all these VPNs are compatible on all devices, but you just want a VPN that takes compatibility, ease of use, um, accessibility and just lack of complication is just ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is the epitome of a VPN that is made to simply get the job done as best as it can do it, okay? So as you can tell, the UI is very simple here. You have locations, speed test, and options. And you got locations of over 3,000 servers in 94 countries in 160 uh, cities, different locations. So yeah, uh, and it's very simple here. It's divided by continent. You can see the UI is super simple. And the cool thing about ExpressVPN is that the user interface is going to be nearly precisely the same no matter which device you're using. So whether you're on your Mac, your PC, your iOS device, your Android device, your Fire TV, your Smart TV, whatever it is that you're using, it's going to almost always be the same precise user interface, which is a very nice touch because it makes things super easy because if you can use the VPN on PC, then you can use it on every other device. It's going to be very familiar. So that is a very good thing, which boosts the accessibility for most people. Then you have a speed test feature that can save you a little bit of time when it comes to picking the fastest server. And finally, you have your options here. And with these options, it's just as easy as it gets when it comes to uh, these options. You have general protocols, shortcuts, browsers, and advanced. You never have to do anything with advanced here unless you want to opt out of the sharing crashing reports. I'd recommend just keep that uh, on just in case you need uh, the help of the support. And of course, all of the data here never contains personally identifiable information, as it says here. Uh, and it has been proven, by the way, in their independent audit reports, if you don't believe it. So with browsers, you have browser extensions, you have shortcuts, which you can add. And these shortcuts will kind of show up here when you turn on the VPN. So, you know, you can put Netflix shortcuts um, alongside the server that you want it to connect with. So, yeah, it can be very useful. You have a handful of protocols. You can just go with lightweight UDP protocol is the best performing protocol. It's definitely the one I recommend using the most simply because it is the fastest. So, uh, yeah, you want to stick with that. And now in general, you have the uh, basic features, basic security features, which should be available in every VPN that is worth its salt. And that is the kill switch and split tunneling. 
The kill switch, which is also called the network lock, will stop your internet traffic if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly. Uh, and this will make sure that uh, you don't uh, risk any leaks in case the VPN disconnects. And you have split tunneling here, which will allow you to select which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So for example, you can have only your torrenting client use the VPN while the rest of your network is left untouched by the VPN tunnel or vice versa, where you can have your entire connection routed through the VPN, except for selected applications, which you can add here. So it is a very, very useful feature. And if I haven't mentioned ExpressVPN will allow you to secure up to five devices per subscription. And it's a very easy uh, process when it comes to uh, securing your other devices. You can just email the setup link and you can open your email on any of the devices and access ExpressVPN without having to input any of your information again. But if you can't access your email on your TV, for example, you can just uh, put in your credentials and you're good to go. And if I haven't mentioned, ExpressVPN is definitely the best for censorship heavy countries and specifically good for unblocking streaming services in all kinds of geo restrictions. Uh, since it has up to 94 countries, you do have plenty of options to unblock geo restrictions. All right, so next up you have NordVPN, which will give you a huge selection of servers. Now true, it does have 34 less countries, so it's 60 countries, but you've got over 5,200 servers in those 60 countries. Especially in the United States, you've got about 2,000 servers in the States alone. And the cool thing about uh, NordVPN, again, is that first of all, it has specialty servers if you're interested in that. But what I personally like is that, let's say, you know, I'm looking for one of the cities, let's go with Buffalo. I can select the city, and then browse through every single Buffalo server manually. Uh, whereas with ExpressVPN and NordVPN, you can just select the uh, location and that would be pretty much it. The server selection will be done by Express and Surfshark. Whereas with NordVPN, you can just select the location and it'll pick the best server uh, depending on your location, or you can select the server manually. You know, maybe a server, you notice that one server is faster than the other. You could just stick with that all the time. And besides the huge amount of servers and specialty servers here, uh, of course, if you're interested in learning more about these specialty servers and everything else, you'll find links to reviews down below. But overall, specialty servers will help you. For example, double VPN is going to double up the encryption routing your uh, connection through two servers rather than one for extra security. Onion OverVPN will give you access to the uh, dark web without having to use the uh, Tor browser and peer-to-peer -peer servers are made for peer-to-peer -peer activities, although you don't necessarily need them to engage in peer-to-peer -peer activities. And finally, you have a uh, dedicated IP, which if you switch to OpenVPN protocol, uh, you'll get access to dedicated IP, which will always give you the same IP when you return to uh, a server. All right, now you have Nordlynx protocol, which is definitely the fastest protocol, making the fastest VPN, arguably the fastest VPN in the industry. You have CyberSec, which is an ad blocker. Just like Express and Surfshark, you have a kill switch, as well as an app kill switch, which will close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops, uh, rather than closing your entire connection. And you have split tunneling. And in advanced, you'll find custom DNS, which will give you an easy way to change your DNS without any hassle in obfuscated servers for censorship heavy countries. NordVPN will allow you to secure up to six devices per subscription if I haven't mentioned that. And it's great for people that want to save a little bit more cash uh, while getting a whole bunch more features. And of course, it still works for Netflix. And it's generally great for unblocking uh, geo restrictions and streaming services but you are limited to 60 countries rather than 94. Uh, so ExpressVPN has, um, so using Netflix as an express, so using Netflix as a reference, ExpressVPN will unblock up to 18 to 20 Netflix libraries, if not more, these are just the confirmed libraries. It could unblock even more if you do your own testing. NordVPN will unblock up to 10. Again, it could unblock more, but these are the confirmed uh, libraries and Surfshark up to 14, sometimes 15 libraries, depending on the situation with geo restrictions. All right. So uh, yeah, that'll be it for NordVPN. Now, if you're looking for a VPN that just gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost without sacrificing much on uh, security, performance, or features for that matter, then you are in the right place right here with Surfshark. It'll allow to secure an unlimited number of devices 
uh, with just a single subscription, which is very convenient for those that want to secure as many devices as possible, or if you just have a lot of family members that you want to share this uh, membership with. All right, and you have multi-hop and static IP, which are the same as double VPN and dedicated IP from NordVPN. You have over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, so five more than NordVPN and two, about 200 more servers than uh, ExpressVPN. And right here in the settings, you'll notice, of course, if you opt for the more expensive packages, you'll be getting an antivirus and the alert, but the VPN itself will offer the following. So again, the ad blocker, the kill switch, a handful of protocols, stick to the wire guard for the best performance, and bypasser as well as a speed test feature. Bypasser, by the way, is the same as split tunneling. The speed test is just a great option, a great feature to have. NordVPN doesn't really have it, uh, if you noticed here, unfortunately. But Surfshark has it. You can arguably say that Surfshark has even more features than NordVPN, uh, but it doesn't have custom DNS or Onion over VPN or peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers. So yeah, well, depending on what you need, really, uh, you can choose one or the other. And of course, you have rotating IP in no borders mode if you're in a censorship-heavy country. Rotating IP is definitely going to be very useful to cover up your tracks if you're in a censorship-heavy country. It's going to keep rotating your IP address while the VPN location stays the same. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for these VPNs. Again, if you're looking for the best of the best overall, just go with ExpressVPN. If you're looking for something a little bit more features and cheaper, uh, just the best value VPN overall, go with NordVPN. If you're looking for the best budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost, then Surfshark will do the job just fine, if not uh, more than fine, really. Uh, so that'll be it for this video. Again, keep in mind that all these VPNs do have a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you are able to try out these VPNs risk-free. Uh, I have tried getting my own refund just to test it out, and I was able to get my refund within three to four business days through the 24-7 live chat support. Very easy process, all right? You'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I have a wonderful day.